Hey, this is Kenton Newby coming to you with my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, we're going to go over a really cool website called JotForm, and of course you can find that over at JotForm.com. And let me explain to you what the deal is with this site. It's actually pretty neat. Now, have you ever wanted to put a web form on your site, maybe something to capture other info besides an opt-in form, maybe a survey or a poll or something like that? Uh, one of the things that you could do, and really you have a couple of options, one is to learn HTML and do it yourself, or the other option is basically to pay somebody that knows HTML to help you out. Well, those were the options until now, because now you know about JotForm. And you can even see here, they tag it as the, the first web-based WYSIWYG form builder, and that's exactly what you get when you sign up for your totally free account. So what you can do is head over to JotForm.com, get signed up, and go ahead and log in, and you'll be greeted by this really boring web form. First name, last name, email address, mailing address, nothing really all that fancy. But what's cool about it is, if you're familiar with WordPress and, and using WordPress to alter things that are in your sidebar using widgets where you can kind of drag and drop stuff, sort of the same deal here. So if I wanted to add something to this form, like for instance, a list of checkboxes, I can just drag and drop and boom, there they are right there. Then I can maybe change this to say options. And then I could say, well, that's kind of a weird place for it. Let me slide that down one level, put that right above the submit button. The other thing you can do, of course, is change these options here. Um, you can just click on any of these items, and then over here under Properties, you'll be presented with a, a list of properties for each of these different items. And of course, the properties are going to vary based on uh, which one of these kind of things you click on. So for instance, with these options, if I could change the name of these options to whatever I want. Click Done. And of course, the name changes. No big deal there. Actually, it gets even better because one of the things you can do is just go in here and click on New, and then you'll see that JotForm actually gives you a whole bunch of different templates, and they just run you through a little wizard, kind of like a, a typical Windows application. So you can make a contact form, survey, job thing, website thing, all of these different kinds of deals, and it'll run you through a little wizard that lets you tell it what information you want to collect and, and what tools over here you want to use. The other thing you can do you can set this to send you an email whenever anyone submits information and then you can put in of course your email address and then that will be added as part of the form so whenever anybody hits the submit button you get an email and it'll have all of that information that you uh, you're trying to collect in your form then they've got some other things some stuff they call power tools you got captcha and star ratings and all these other little deals you can check those out and then payment tools they've got paypal and google checkout stuff you can just drop in there and make part of the form etc and so once you use all your tools over here and drag and drop everything and get them all configured the way you want, then you can just go over here to source. And actually you might want to save it first. Then go over here to source. It turns a little bit and creates your form and you can either copy and paste this portion here and paste it in as an iframe or you can paste in just the raw HTML. It's got a little CSS here at the top. Paste that into your website and if you need to go back and make any changes just click edit takes you right back here. You can make any changes you need to or just paste it into the website if it's good to go. And that's it. Really cool little website. Really neat. I kind of wish I had thought of it, but I didn't. But I'm bringing it to you now, so hopefully that's good enough. Hope you find it useful. And again, that's at jotform.com. That wraps up this week's video tip, but before we close out, I just have a small favor to ask. If you found this video tip useful, go ahead and leave a comment in this post. I've got comments open on this one, so go ahead, click the comments button, leave me a quick bit of feedback, let me know what you thought. Other than that, that's it for this week's video tip. See you again soon.